Hello my lovely Pisces. <laughs> welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Right, we are going to do a weekly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising for May 8th through to 14th, 2023. Please, please, please use your intuition to get the right messages as well and check your Sun, Moon and Rising. So visit those other videos as well, maybe to get more deeper um, understanding of what's coming, what kind of message is there for you. Riley, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at your moods, what kind of mood is around you, what kind of energies are around you, and then I'm going to have a look into recent past, current situation, and near future as well. We have two planets coming out of retrograde, Uranus and Mercury. However, Mercury effect could still have a little bit of ripple effect until the end of May. However, Mercury is going to go into Saturn and Venus, so it just going to kind of spark a bit of a a commitment um, decision making okay regarding creativity maybe taking the side hustle into kind of create a second business or a part-time business and as well making decisions regarding maybe taking that um, relationship up into the next level or deciding that is not right for you you know so yeah this is going to be an interesting week indeed what we're we having for you right now expectation concern and change wow what well, straight away that's kind of caught my eye is this okay this person is sitting here and there's a church behind some of you are maybe making uh kind of assumptions that are of other person or waiting are you waiting for someone to come home someone to come into you it feels could be regarding love as well right because the both people are looking at the back you are this kind of energy is concerned about the past there is some sort of concerns about uh, shoulda woulda coulda right but there's a change there's something is happening there is and maybe some of you are maybe holding on to the past for too much as well or maybe you want to tie up loose ends hence you may be thinking okay how could i have done different maybe you have actually maybe you have a uh, expectations to a person or situation and maybe you you are actually maybe experiencing that there's expectations towards you it could be actually because look at there's a person which is older it could be that you have a feeling of that you know some parents say oh i'd love you to be a doctor because i want to be a doctor i failed and now i'm putting on to you to fulfill that dream that i'd never finished or being ballerina or something else and I feel like for some of you, that could be the, the case here. Okay. However, the sun is shining through. Okay. The sun is shining through. There's some light is happening. There's some, what I'm seeing here, maybe in between is needed is communication. Absolutely. But there's change happening. Either this is, maybe this expectation is driving you away from place or people. We're going to dive in and find out, are we? Yes, we are indeed. The right Pisces what's going on with you in recent past we just had a higher from jumping out which is definitely traditions traditions wow queen of pentacles and look we have the fire font is back again hello taurus and high priestess hmm i have to say here i think for some of you you might feel that there is something in the air, but you can't put a finger on exactly what's going on. And it feels like it could be regarding money or the way you want to live your life. Okay. It felt that you want, this is your manifestation. You want to create something. It, it is well a card of um, when usually women come out of maternity and then they leave home and then they are starting business from home and having running the house, being a mom, being a, a sister to someone, wife to someone, um, being a co colleague at work. There's lots on the plate. OK, but I feel like what I'm, for some of you guys is that there is some sort of change of how the roles are divided either in society or in your family. Right. There's a lot of um, kind of strong, 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 strong female um, energy here. Yet you have, and I have to say, apply please as you can. But for some of you, I feel like that there is a strong expectation from either your community or from your uh, family or your religion 
how you're supposed to perf um, behave or live. Okay, it could be male or female. And hence you feel like, you know what, I just want to do what I want to do. It's my choice, how I want to live. And maybe it's time for me to leave, either to leave the family or leave the house, leave the whatever, just to be happy. Okay, I want to make money. I have a maybe idea. Um, and maybe you want to share something because Hierophant is about maybe creating workshops, maybe um, doing some speeches or writing a book, kind of teachings. There's some sort of teachings happening, right? Maybe doing some spiritual, especially with High Priestess. Maybe you have a plan to do even tarot readings or doing some Reiki or yoga. And now uh, it could be that you're feeling that you can do that. But can you, do you feel supported? No. Current situation, King of Pentacles. We have support here. We have a um, counterpart. Uh huh. Okay. Right. You come from a strong place, to be honest. As as, as financially, it's it's gonna be fine if this is something you want to go and do, right? However, there is some sort of assumptions again, expectations and concerns, whether you. It's either it's your concern or someone else's. Someone is kind of questioning whether you can deliver this because we have strengths to Leo here. You can do it standing on your head as long as you believe it in yourself, Pisces. Okay? As long as you believe in yourself. You will... And with, with the two of wands, it's kind of like you may be thinking, do I need to partner up or not? You're holding the world the same as... um. Emperor is doing okay and kind of this is my world this is something that I can do and with, because with this one it's kind of right really well stable and situated one however there's a second one you kind of like I'd like to try out I really would love to try out something different or try something different and not entirely but and I feel like you're going to get some extra um, boost here you will be coming in a situation where you kind of have to use your confidence and being bold Okay, and you will have some sort of kind of influx of energy, like wow, you know, that kind of um, that kind of feeling that you know what I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling like <laughs> I rock the world right in your near future. Wow, three of cups. Wow. Oh wow, this is your calling, guys. This definitely, you are following your heart. You're following your bliss. And you're going to meet like-minded people. And it's going to bring you a lot of kind of not just fame, but uh, money and confidence. You're going to bring confidence. What I'm seeing as well, group, maybe you're running group or maybe you're joining group where you're sharing your thoughts. It could be different platforms. It could be one-on-one -on -one physically as a person or it could be even by writing a book, blog, or even uh, creating a YouTube channel, whatever that is. It feels like you're sharing, you're coming together with like-minded people and really li lifting those cups, uplift, this emotional uplift happening, right? Now, with two pentacles, it's sometimes I could read this where it is, but it feels like you're going to be a lot of in limelight, kind of performing, okay? Juggling, it could be juggling out between your uh, full-time job or side hustle, a home running this, 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 and other, right? However, when we have the King of Cups, it's kind of there's a choppy waters around. It could be a person that is is maybe trying to emotionally manipulate the situation, okay? Uh, throw some spanners in works. Or as well, um, you know how to weather storms because you know the storms might be coming. However, when I say judgment here, you it says you on the right path. You have unlocked your calling. This is your calling. You finally are awake. Have you been sleepwalking? <laughs> I'm not laughing, but I'm saying is you might feel that, oh, I'm, have I been sleepwalking through my life and suddenly stumbling upon this situation, overcoming obstacles, growing my confidence and pursuing my dream, I realized I'm actually not the person that I thought I am. Kind of realizing, learning lessons and moving forward. Let's clarify, Pisces. Right. Wow, Knight of Swords. Tower. Wow, I wouldn't be surprised there. Hangman. Three Pentacles. Two Swords. Page of Pentacles. Three Wands. And Hierophant again. Wow. A 
okay a feeling you're going to be visiting either in your physical body re revisiting a situation or person and having a conversation it depends what kind of conversation how it goes but it feels like you might be revisiting your past as well where you're gonna see and like wow how i let this happen wow why i was hanging on for something for dear life okay and you will understand the reason don't judge yourself you will kind of like learn from this you will learn from this and you will kind of sometimes i don't understand why is this happening but i know how to go forward how to reach my stars how to dream how to dream big and achieve something that i want because now with the high priest and that fool here the taurus here it's kind of like i'm gonna use my knowledge from the past and to take out the negativity and i'm gonna take the positive i'm gonna run with it and even sometimes you might want to and i feel like here you're taking your past with you but you're gonna take the good bits or you want to take your life story or how you have overcome some obstacles or something and bring that to light and um, i wouldn't say influence but maybe share this with someone else as well and that will greatly benefit maybe this is something that you want to do something that you want to create some sort of other uh, healing classes or working spiritually because we're having the two hierophants and the high priestess right and three of cups it's a lot of emotional um could be emotional psychological or spiritual war work here and with the crown chakra this is something really that is kind of awakening is happening with the judgment again there's a lot of awakening like spiritual or mental awakening wow what a week so much right <laughs> all right my beautiful souls have a beautiful beautiful week my lovely pisces and then don't be strangers subscribe like and comment and i'll see you in the next reading Ta -da.